Hi, I'm Bert Sheffield, a Canadian Paralympic dressage rider, and this is my Tokyo Prospect horse, uh, Farusa, better known as Wonky Horse. Now, I started doing some videos about training the Spanish walk. Um, we got a bit delayed, everything got, the world got in the way. So we're starting that up again. I'm going to use Wonky for this. She does know the Spanish walk in hand, so hopefully she'll let me show you the stages to get it and won't just produce the finished article. But uh, I will endeavor to show you how I trained her to do this. So to begin with, you need to have your leading really nice. You're backing up nice and easy, the horse respecting your space and the four yields. And the clock is less important, but definitely the four yields help to keep you safe and help you defend your space when you're doing the Spanish walk. In the previous video I did, I showed you how to start the Spanish walk by stroking down the leg and asking the horse to pick up and fold around the stick for a treat. That's the first stage. That needs, the horse needs to understand that when you stroke the leg, is to fold around the stick. Wonky's trying to be an overachiever and trying to move on to the next stage. So you're teaching the horse to hold the leg up while the stick's in contact. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good girl. Um, I'm just going to push her back again because we want to start with the horse in a nice balanced halt, not too stretched out. I'm going to ask the horse, ask it to fold and hold up to the stick. That was good. Too long. If you ask them to hold it up for too long, they'll lose their balance and it'll become difficult and the horse will start to think that the Spanish walk is something difficult to achieve. The next step in teaching the Spanish walk, good girl, is to take the stick from going down the back of the leg to onto the front of the forearm. So you ask the horse when the horse is standing on four legs. Okay, good girl. Gonna ask, gonna bring the stick forward and ask her to pick up from the front because we're now starting to want the horse to seek the stick rather than to be moving the stick away from the leg. And in the end, I want to be able to ask for it from a tap on the front of the leg or a point towards the front of the leg, not the back of the leg. So once you have the lift and the horse looking for the stick on the front, good girl. The horse starting to get the lift from the shoulder as the horse looks for the stick. I'm just going to move her back a step again. Backing them up a step just helps to get them balanced on their four legs. So her hind legs aren't too far away from her. So she can keep her balance when she's standing on three legs with the other one waving in the air. Just as we did in the very beginning stage, asking the horse to bring the leg up, hold it up, and then step it forward, we start to encourage the horse to walk forward while, good girl. Good girl. Usually you'll start by getting one front leg and then the other one follows, and then the other, then the same front leg again. So you'll start the process, good girl. Ask for one step, now this leg, good. Then a step, then this leg, then a step, then this leg, then a step, then this leg, good girl, good. Good girl. So we start doing one walk step, one Spanish step, one walk step, one Spanish step is how you want to start the Spanish walk when you start to get it moving. And don't ask for too many steps before you give the horse a treat. You want the horse to stay willing and happy and to understand it's done something right, not feel that 
you've somehow cheated it out of its treats. Personally, I don't teach Spanish walk ridden. I teach it, good girl, good girl. Good girl, that one, good girl. I teach it in hand. because I don't want any risk of when I get into a dressage test that my horse starts trying to do Spanish walk. So it's something we exclusively do in, in hand, we never do ridden, but I love the effect it has at teaching the horses to use their shoulders and find their balance and their freedom in their shoulders so they're loose and supple not every horse is born knowing the full range that its shoulders have got. So I really love how the Spanish walk helps the horses to explore and discover just everything in the shoulder that nature has given them. It really helps with the ridden work when I come to wanting them to lift the shoulder, to be really mobile and supple in the front leg. The horses have already worked out that they have a much greater scope of movement than they traditionally do when they're running around the field.